cactus collector. Now here in the UK we've had the most glorious sunshine the last week which is really odd for February but I'm certainly not complaining and nor are the cacti and succulents. So I thought what better thing to do than an end of February cacti and succulent tour. So let's go take a look how they're looking. Now I'm going to start with the kitchen window. It's so warm and sunny that my little cactus is dancing. And as we get to the end of the windowsill, I'll just show you my variegated aloe there, looking really nice. As we get to the end of the windowsill, you will notice two new variegated cacti, which I was so excited to find at my local Yvale Garden Centre. I spotted them in a three pack, it was like a blister pack of three small cacti. And from a distance, because I've never seen the variegated cacti in any of my local garden centres, um, I see the variegated succulents now and again, but very rarely even those. Um, I thought, oh, you know, it was lack of light or something, and it was just like pale. But as I got closer, I could see that it actually was proper variegation on this cactus. So you can see how beautiful and stunning it goes from the green to the yellow and the same on this one. So, so, so happy to find those. And then here's my jade, some lovely new growth here. And then up here, I have to be careful with the sun, like I said, it's very bright today. It's my Rick Rat Cactus, looking absolutely stunning. And then, Obviously no change in this one at the minute. I haven't watered it since the end of winter, but it's still happy, so that's a good sign. Now we'll go on to the living room and show you what's in okay, there. Okay, so here's all the living room south facing window, sill cacti and succulents. Now one that I've noticed has grown which has always been a slow grower, but this variegated bare paws, as I call it, has actually got a bit of height to it now. And I've just noticed that the last two, three days, it suddenly had a little growth spurt. So really happy with that. And there's my other bare paws, or the proper name, Cotyledon tomentosa. So, my variegated jade, that's slowed down again now with its growth. And then this one here is a new one from Wilkinson's, which is absolutely beautiful. And then if I come over here, We have all these up here. So you will recognize some of my new ones here that I have potted up. Seems we've had the lovely weather. And another one here been potted up. Now I've checked all these over. I found one that had mealybugs, only a sign of like one. So I think it was just the start. So I removed it and treated that. And I actually did sadly have one cacti on this shelf or cactus, should I say on this shelf that actually was rotten. So I checked all the ones close by, they were fine. I have no idea. Maybe it was slightly damp at the end of the year. I don't know, but it's always sad when you lose a cactus or succulent or any plant. But with the winter, you do expect when you have a large collection to lose one or two. And if you don't, you're very, very lucky. I remember losing my first um, cactus last winter and I was really, really upset. I was like, what have I done wrong? But the more I've got to know other cacti and succulent collectors, 
I've realised it happens to us all. So if I move this, you can have a better look at these ones, all looking good. And it's always good, as I said, to check regularly for bugs. Because that way you can stop it quickly before it spreads through your collection. Now this is another new one. My friend at college, we got talking and we found out that we both loved cacti and succulents. So it's great because I have a plant swapping friend now. So we've been swapping a few cacti and succulents and we've got more to swap as well um, during the spring when we start separating some plants. So that's always fun. We've got this one here and then this is my tray of some of the babies which i potted up that were all around the one from my friend it had tons of babies all crowded in the pot so again i've just potted them up separate so that's really good and then if we come over to this windowsill we have all of the beautiful euphorbias at the start All looking lovely. Obviously not much activity at the moment at this time of year, but won't be long. But at least they're looking healthy. That is the main thing. And then we go on to the Apuntia there at the back. Mammalaria elongata here. That's one of my new ones all potted up. And then we have a look over here and they're all looking healthy too. And then some of the larger ones down here. I have actually, if I could show you, potted up some of these recently. We have the Milo cactus there and my new one from home base, which I absolutely love. So yeah, all the large ones are just down there for now until I can finally get them in the greenhouse and it's safer to just keep them down there because they are quite prickly, those ones, so they're tucked out the way from everybody till, like I say, they go back out in the greenhouse. And we have this one here. And two down there. My golden barrel, absolutely love this. Can't wait to put that back outside in the summer. And we have my cluster cactus. I think you pronounce it Strauzzi I I don't know. But anyway, cluster cactus there. And then my Ripsalis here. Absolutely love this. Looking beautiful. And while I'm here, I'll show you what my husband bought me a few weeks back from Asda. Absolutely love this. Which was really kind of him. So that's the ones in the living room. We'll now take you on to the spare room. Okay, so there's not a lot going on in here. We have my Aeoniums, one there and one there. And then in this tray, there are some leaf propagations going on. I'll show you there are some little roots. And then we have those two there. And my string of pearls and some others up here little tiny bit of the string of hearts there and that's pretty much it for the spare room and at the top of the landing window we have this beautiful jade i think it's a hummel sunset jade hummel sunset and then my spider plant. This one has tiny weeny little flowers there. I don't know if you can see them that well actually. Pretty. And then my other jade still doing fantastic after all its leaves grew back. And if I take you through to this room, we have one of my new ones from Wilkinson all potted up and another jade. And then an 
aloe there. Oh, and my new sign, which needs to be put up. Be a cactus in a world full of flowers. And actually, I'll show you as well. If we go up here, I bought this beautiful wind chime from Asda, which is a little cactus. Absolutely stunning. So I didn't want to leave that. So I grabbed that and the sign will go literally here underneath. And then that's my cactus light and my two pictures in here as well which i thought i'd show you just while we were in that room anyway and then we'll go on to the bedroom window so here we go we have one cactus here then we have buddha's temple which has had some real good growth over the winter looking really nice and healthy these are all looking nice and healthy All doing really well again I can't wait to get them all out in the sunshine in the spring and summer love this the variegated one I got from the cactus shop in Devon absolutely love that I think it's a ferrocactus and then my Echeveria black prince is still hanging in there and as you saw downstairs the leaves have propagated well so I'm really happy with that and I've stopped watering him. I know it's because I overwatered him that he lost his leaves. So that's a lesson learned to me. And then finally this one here. So I hope you enjoyed the cactus and succulent tour. Thanks so much for watching and welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you all so much for the support on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.